I know Joe Shane joked at his post-draft press conference that he really doesn't have any time for immediate draft grades, right? He said you need two, three, four years uh, of film and analysis and playing time before you can really determine how a team did in any particular draft. Hogwash, BS, I don't want to hear it. You look at this Giants draft class and what Shane and his staff accomplished in 2023, it is the home run of all home runs. No, yes, right, I get it. None of these guys have played a down yet. But the Giants managed to go into a draft where everyone preaches best player available, best player available, best player available. Well, they managed to take best player available, feel like they didn't reach for any selection, but still address a ton of their needs. Banks, he's your new starting corner, the Giants' first round pick. John Michael Schmitz, he's your new center. Hyatt, he's one of your new receivers. Even Gray is going to spell Saquon Barkley. The list goes on and on and on. Again, I know we have to see these guys on the field, but Giants fans, I don't know how you don't look at this class and what Shane accomplished this offseason and not get fired up. Are the Eagles still the cream of the crop and the top of the NFC East? Absolutely. But the Giants, after this draft, they got so much better. They managed to plug three to four of their biggest needs without reaching in the draft. They moved up to get guys. They stayed put to get guys. Joe Shane did what he had to to make the Giants better. And guess what? He did.